sarcoma is a devastating cancer of soft tissues uh, and bone. These tumors essentially um, invade locally, causing, um, if not treated, a fracture of bone, uh, pressure on vital organs such as the heart and lungs, and can cause tumors of the brain that can actually cause the death of, of the child. Sarcoma is extremely difficult to do research on because firstly it is a relatively rare disease and secondly it has been very difficult to actually grow tumor cells so that we can actually examine them in depth. However, studies here at the University of Chicago as well as in other institutions have allowed us to uh, begin that process and we now do ex uh, extensive work using very sophisticated molecular techniques that allow us to analyze very small amounts of tissue. So the University of Chicago has a coordinated approach to uh, considering sarcoma mm -hmm. uh, from a research perspective. Firstly, we have several investigators who are looking at the causes of, of sarcoma and the importance of the, these um, studies are that we're identifying new markers, we call them biomarkers, to more rapidly identify uh, individuals with the disease and also once they, we have identified patients who have disease, determine what is the best treatment strategy for each individual patient. This is called personalized medicine and is at the forefront of uh, our efforts to try to uh, tailor care specifically to each individual patient. We know that for some patients, um, chemotherapy, radiation and surgery works and is curative for patients with sarcoma. But we really want to know why it isn't curative for everybody. We really, we really think the key to answering that is genetics. So um, by focusing on the genetic variation that makes individuals individuals, uh, we think we'll find keys there in patients that won't respond. And, that, and the goal would be to um, include genetic testing in upfront evaluation of patients, just like your CT scan and your blood work when you're diagnosed with cancer. Uh, genetic testing would be involved and uh, important treatment decisions would be uh, incorporated based on those genetic tests. We have a very active uh, phase one clinical trial program here where we're um, developing new agents um, that will hopefully one day be the future of treatment of sarcoma. Most um, monies in the United States that go for cancer research mm -hmm. focus on large diseases such as um, prostate and breast cancer. However, many of the most important advances that have, that have been made in cancer research have been in uh, identifying mechanisms of disease in rare tumors such as sarcoma. And um, for every dollar that's raised from a fundraising point of view, approximately eight to ten dollars are raised in uh, federal funds for the same disease. Philanthropy is essential uh, for the type of research we're doing here at the University of Chicago and across the country, um, especially in uh, this uh, time of economic hardship. Uh, funding that comes from the National Institutes of Health um, has decreased and decreased over the years, and the current economic climate has only um, worsened that. So we, as scientists, we're relying very heavily on uh, philanthropic support uh, for our research. The Ted Mullen Fund was founded, was, was established five years ago by the Mullen family after the unfortunate passing of their son Ted. Over the last five years, with the funds raised, there have been uh, approximately ten scientists recruited to campus here at the University of Chicago who actually focus on sarcoma research. Not only have those investigators identified new mechanisms of sarcoma uh, the causation of sarcoma, but they have also established a strong foundation for new therapies for these diseases. I want to thank the Hour of Power and the Mullen Foundation for their incredible support of our kids and kids across the country who suffer from the um, uh, incredibly uh, severe and devastating disease called sarcoma.